Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a jig out of a wacky jig. Extreme finesse, really good stuff. Um, I already have one in the vise, but uh, I'll show you here what we got. Just a regular old flick shake head, um, but these make really good finesse jigs. This happens to be a 332nd ounce. So here's how we're going to do it. I already took the liberty of, uh, I bent out the weed guard a little bit to make it easier to tie. And I glued in a little wire keeper I made out of 20 gauge wire. Um, you could, uh, I'm going to tie this in to make it stronger because I can actually pull that off if I tried. But um, let's get started here. The same as any other jig, we're going to use 210 denier. Uh, flat wax nylon thread and we're gonna get ourselves a little thread base now we're not gonna go too far down um, just quarter inch half inch and trim the excess off now Once we get our thread base on, I'm going to take a little piece of chenille and some Loctite uh, brush on super glue. First, the super glue goes on. Just brush it up. This will help lock in the, the keeper even better, and it's going to also keep your thread from slipping down on the, the shank. And we're going to take a piece of this, chenille. Um, this is new age chenille. You can use rayon. Ultra chenille works really good because it's harder. And you're going to peel a little bit back just so you get this little, um, if you could see there, there's a little black thread hanging off there. Uh, that's what we're going to use to tie in the chenille. And... You can see now we have it laid there. We're going to bring the thread back up and we're going to wrap this to make a ball. Want to make a nice size ball, almost the size of the head. And you want to leave a gap in here. Not a big gap. Maybe an eighth at the most. You can wrap your chenille till the little ball gets to about uh, size of the head, maybe just a hair smaller. But um, once you get there, you're going to tie it off. I didn't tighten my vise up really well. Now we're tight. I'll make a few wraps. Sorry about that. It's a little sloppy, but trim that chenille. Now you can see we have just basically the wacky jig, wacky head with a little chenille ball here over the keeper. And you'll see what the reason for that is right now. For the silicone that we're going to tie on, I basically took one tab and cut it in half to give me two halves and then I took a half a tab this is black and then I took a half a tab of black with red flake black neon and cut the half in half if you will now I want the ends to be even with the bottom you can always put it on the easier way for you and then trim it later, but uh, I'll put it on. And it gets a little tricky because you're working with such a small distance. You really don't got a big thread base or anything. So just get it there that it holds. Take your other one, slide it through the weed guard, your other piece.
if we can straighten the thread out there. Once we get these secured, like just tied in a little bit, then we'll we'll even them out. But just getting it tied in now is what we're focusing on. Okay, two wraps. Now I'm going to even this out a little bit, the chenille, because we didn't pull it tight or nothing. It's, so it's very easy to do. And you can see it already wants to uh, start blossoming because it's going to be like a puffball style jig. Now I'm going to take the halves. I'm going to put a piece of these, this on each side, just to add some contrast and color and a little bit of flash. Okay. Not okay yet. There we go. No. I apologize for that. Back that off. This is where, like I said, it gets a little tricky because you're trying to look at the silicone strands and that weed guard. If it wasn't for the weed guard, it would be pretty easy. Okay, now, now we got it. Let's pull it up a little bit to even it out. And like I said, if you get the that they're they're too long, you can always trim it up afterwards. Now I have my silicone tied in. Now I'm gonna pull it tight, and you can see what happened. As soon as I pulled it tight, uh, it flared out. Make a wrap. Now, if you have any kind of twine, I like this. It's a piece of this uh, uh, cord-like um, shoelace. What I do is I find all the pieces of silicone that the, the ends that are free, and I slip the shoelace over and make just a regular old square knot or a half hitch not tight just enough that I can bring it down and hold them loose strands and there you have that so now that's well I left one free yet shouldn't cause me too much difficulty but yeah we'll fix that too I'll just do another little uh another, another little square knot because when you you got to put head cement on this stuff and if you don't have it uh, it's really tough. You get to end up getting it all over the silicone, and so oh, about five or six wraps. Don't need much because you're going to whip finish it. Same way. tight and again one, two three four five six cinch it now we're all trimmed up there now this is the neat part I'm going to take my super glue again. 
I'm going to take the top off and I'm going to use this it's a bodkin but you can use any little metal uh, as long as it's thin and I'm going to dip it in my super glue and I'm going to go right around the thread that way you get it on the thread and on the thread you might get a little bit on the, the silicone but this is why I use uh, super glue with silicone because uh, when I use the regular head cement uh, it makes a white film on the silicone where the super glue won't so much uh, it'll dry and it'll be fine and it does a great job of protecting those threads um, I've never had a problem so now we're done we're gonna take our small scissors here and we're gonna trim the ends off of that and take our little shoelace here and untie it And there you have it. That is the wacky jig jig. Now all you need to do is put on a little uh, a little piece of um, straight tail finesse worm, put it up there on that little keeper that we tied in. But there you have it. This thing is absolutely wicked as a finesse jig and you're done with the wacky jig and it's got a little weed guard on it really good around boat docks um try it out see how you do and uh let me know what you think thanks for watching